Welcome to the Best Kept Secret video cast and podcast from Centricity. If you're a B2B service professional, use our five-step process to go from the grind of chasing every sale to keeping your pipeline full with prospects knocking on your door to buy from you. We give you the freedom of time and a life outside of your business. Each episode features an executive from a B2B services company sharing their provocative perspective on an opportunity that many of their clients are missing out on. It's how we teach our clients to get executive decision makers to buy without being salesy or spammy. Here's our host, the co-founder and CEO of Centricity, Jay Kingley. I'm Jay Kingley, co-founder and CEO of Centricity. Welcome to another episode of our Best Kept Secret show, where I'm happy to welcome back for his second visit, Alex Yoro, CEO of All Marketing Services. All Marketing Services is a digital marketing agency focused on conversion rate optimization, in addition to the broader range of services, including digital strategy, pay-per-click, SEO, social media, and marketing automation services. Alex is based in Washington, D.C. Welcome to the show, Alex. Thank you so much, Jay, for having me. And it is an honor to be here for the second time. Fabulous. Alex, uh, I love talking to small business owners, even uh, mid-market-sized companies, and one of my favorite topics that I like to talk to them about is marketing. And one of the things that I hear a lot of, people saying, I'm pretty savvy. What I do to get traffic to my website is I go all in on organic traffic because organic traffic is higher quality and it's much lower cost. Why would I want to make Google wealthy by buying ads when all I really need to do is do some SEO and watch clients come flooding to my website. And, you know, those ad people, they're just interested in lining their own pockets. So, Alex, let me ask you, based on your experience, is that a fair argument or are companies that are thinking like this missing something? In my experience, they are missing a lot. I completely agree with the second part of the statement. SEO is much cheaper than uh, paid search. It's about seven times cheaper. There are different studies, and it may vary between five to seven times. But uh, you are, there is a misunderstanding about the traffic, uh, SEO traffic is higher quality than um, traffic from PPC. And that's not true because many times... SEO traffic, organic traffic, does not have an intent. It's just informative. So they visit your website. Maybe they read a blog post that talks about something that is relevant for them, but they are not ready to buy or to sign up for a demo or whatever the action that you want them to to perform on the website. So, yes, they can bring it a lot of traffic, but the quality is not probably the one that is going to convert. So the conversion rate for SEO organic traffic is uh, usually uh, lower than uh, traffic uh, coming from PPC. So if I'm going to be a little cynical in interpreting what you say, if as the business owner, I just want to be famous, I want everybody to hear about me, then it doesn't matter the quality of the people coming in because the intention is to make me well known. But if I'm really about running a business and I am looking for clients, what I am after is people searching with intent, coming to me because they have intention around having a pain point that I can help them with. And so they are looking for that solution. Alex, let me ask you another related question, this time on the pay-per-click side. I think everybody understands that you create your ad, you put a keyword or two in there, and you search on that keyword. So how does that approach of doing, you know, pay-per-click fit in with your need to also do SEO? And I think what I'm hearing you say is you've got to bring them both together. You don't do one in place of the other. But talk a little bit more about how they fit together. First thing, never put all your eggs in, a, in one basket. 
what happened to Quora last June 2021. Quora completely disappeared from organic results on Google just because of our new algorithm. If you rely only on organic traffic from one day to another, your business can be completely irrelevant and you can lose everything. So that is one huge reason to do both. And don't believe that just SEO or putting everything all in on SEO or PPC is a good solution. No. If you do that, if you put all your money on PPC, you are going to overspend a lot of money. And you put all your money on SEO, you are going to miss a lot of traffic that you should be receiving. Yeah, something like Quora can happen to you. So, Alex, I think that begs the question of how should be company, how should companies be looking at this issue? How do you figure out the right mix between SEO and pay per click? What, at a strategic level, is the way that a company should be approaching this issue? Coming back to the first time we talk, we talk about data, and we have to rely on data. We know which keywords are bringing traffic. We can know the quality of that traffic. So we just need PPC to complement that traffic that we have already receiving. And there are some times that you can be number one on Google, organic result, but you're not receiving maybe one third, one, I don't know, one fifth of the traffic that that keyword generates on Google. Because people is clicking on the ads on top and you may be even irrelevant for a very competitive keyword. If four ads are appearing on top of your uh, organic result, many people doesn't realize that they are clicking on an ad or on an organic result. So you are the fit for them, not just uh, the, the, the number one. Right. So you're saying it doesn't matter if you're number one on organic, if you're number five on the page. What matters is where you are on the page, because that's how people that are looking for you are going to see you. Alex, I know that uh, people increasingly are doing more and more on their mobile devices, away from their desktop top in the larger screens. What's the impact of what you're talking about as you go to the smaller, more mobile devices? Well, on mobile, it's, it's getting even worse. On a desktop, if you are the first organic result, probably you will appear at the bottom of the above the fold area. On a mobile device, there is no space for an organic result. For a competitive market, you are not on above the fold. People will need to scroll, and most of them won't do that because they are clicking on the first results that they see. And Google and Microsoft and all the search engines, they make every year harder and harder to realize that you're clicking on an ad compared to an organic result. A few years ago, it was a different color, it was a different column, then they move it to the top. Nowadays, the difference between an ad and an organic result is very subtle. And it's going to be like that in the future, because in the end, Google, Microsoft, they make money when you click on an ad, not when you are clicking on an organic result. And they are in it for the money. So they want you to click on the ads. And that's why they are trying their best. Not only that showing more ads on top, but also they are removing the need for clicking on websites. They are providing you the information with questions people usually ask. So you have the answer without clicking and visiting the website. They are mm, what? destroying, and I see a number of clients that are losing a lot of uh, organic uh, traffic because of that, because Google is providing the information that uh, people are looking for on Google, and they don't need to click on your website to find the information that they need. So you're telling me, Alex, that all the big tech guys are more interested in their business than yours? Shocking. Um, for sure. They are a business and um, they are public and they, well, their business is making money. So for sure, all the way, all they do 
is to generate more money. They don't care about the businesses uh, appearing on Google. They care about their revenue as any other business. So that really places the burden on the small business owner, the mid-sized uh, business executive team, marketing folks to take responsibility. And they can't assume that Google, Microsoft, Facebook at all are going to have their best interest at heart. So you've got to be savvy. You've got to know how to play the game. And what I'm also hearing you say is that the rules change and mm. you have got to stay on top of uh, all the changes and be agile and nimble in adjusting how you play the game. But at the same time, you really need to think about a mixture of pay-per-click and SEO and balancing that out so that you get your optimum results. So, Alex, this, this brings me on to if a business does what you suggest and incorporates a an appropriately uh, mixed uh, efforts around SEO and around pay per click. Tell me how they how you would expect them to benefit. Well, there is a study from Google, and they demonstrated that even if you are ranking number one for an organic uh, keyword, showing an ad on your brand for that keyword will increase the chances of getting a click in a 50%. And this study has a few years. So right now, and on mobile devices, the chances is going to be much higher than 50%. Alex, have you, in your experience, seen these results? Because again, the Senate is going to say, Google would say that, wouldn't they? What do you see? I see a bigger trend than just 50%. I have clients that nowadays are receiving 80, 82% of their traffic from mobile devices. On a mobile device, organic results are getting almost no traffic, even if they are number one, number two. So in ads for your brand terms, from uh, keywords that you are ranking really high on top three, so in ads will help you to increase the traffic to your website and well, you won't lose business because in the end, this is about business, about generating leads, about generating sales. Even if you're number one, but people are not clicking on your link, you're losing a lot of money there. Now, Alex, what would you say to a company that uh, is in the a position that I talked about in our opening? They've thought that they should go all in on SEO, uh, not put any investment in pay-per-click. You, you have made this very compelling argument that there is a better way forward that doing them both, uh, optimizing them uh, together is going to give you um, a better result. But what do you say if, if that company says, I, I hear you, Alex, I, I agree with you. I mean, it's compelling, but this is something maybe we'll do back half of this year. Maybe we do next year. You know, I just want to continue doing what I have been doing. What do you say to them? It is okay. If you want to continue in growing as you are growing right now, this is okay. But if you want to grow in a bigger amount your business, you need to do that now because you are missing a lot of clicks that could bring a lot of traffic and business uh, for your company. The argument I think is compelling. I think there are ought to be a sense of urgency for any business that is looking to grow. And I, I don't know many that aren't looking to grow. So how would a company or a head of marketing implement what you are advocating? How do they figure out how to blend together uh, SEO with pay-per-click? They have the first part of what they should be doing, that is the keyword research. They know exactly which keywords are relevant for their business. They have good rankings for some of those keywords. So, well, they need to take a look, analyze the data and say, okay, for these keywords, they have a lot of number of searches every month and we are not ranking well. You can start with those keywords. So you are getting additional traffic that you're not receiving. And once you've worked on those keywords, you can even work on those ones that have a really good ranking. And I'm talking about number one, number two position. 
but they are not generating the expected traffic for the number of searches that they have. And you can bid on those keywords also, and you will see how you're getting a higher number of clicks. And, and Alex, how do you think about figuring out the optimization, how much you should be putting into SEO versus how much you should be doing pay-per-click? That will depend on the data, again, depending on how much traffic uh, over the total number of searches uh, for that term in your local area, um, at the country level, depending on uh, your target market. And that uh, data will tell you, okay, you are getting a really um, low amount of traffic, then well, you should bet on PPC. If you're getting a fair amount of traffic, probably I would just recommend you to focus on other keywords that you are not ranking on, a, on the top of five positions. So depending the, uh, the results and the data, uh, your strategy will be one or, or a different one. Alex, I think you have uh, enlightened me and my audience that you just can't blindly say, wouldn't organic traffic be cheaper when what you really need to be asking yourself is what marketing tactics do I need to use that will generate the greatest revenue from that traffic at the greatest gross contribution, taking into account how much I am paying to get that traffic? Because let's be real, even SEO has a cost whether you're using an outside firm or you're spending your own time to constantly optimize around your keywords and staying on top of your keyword research, time is money. So mm-hmm. create that optimal financial model. Um, we are now going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to learn a bit more about Alex. Wondering how much longer you have to grind and chase after every lead conversation and client? Would you like clients to knock on your door so you no longer have to pitch, follow up, and spam decision makers? Well, Centricity's The Tipping Point program uses a proven five-step process that will help you get in front of the decision makers you need by spending less time on doing all of the things you hate. It's not cold calling, cold email, cold outreach on LinkedIn, or any other social media platform or spending money on ads, but it has a 35 times higher ROI than any of those things, leveraging your expertise and insights that your prospects and network value. The best part, even though you'll see results in 90 days, you get to work with the Centricity team for an entire year to make sure you have all the pieces in place and working so you can start having freedom of time and a life outside of your business. So email time at centricityb2b.com to schedule an 18 minute call to learn more. Welcome back. We're talking to Alex Yoro of All Marketing Services. Let's find out a bit more about Alex. Alex, I'd like to start by you telling our audience, what are the pain points that you solve for your clients and why do they need you to get rid of the pain? Unlike other agencies, uh, maybe because I have an entrepreneurial background, uh, I have created uh, different companies in the past. So, I love to learn about the business of my clients and bring and help them not only improve their marketing, but their growth, their revenue. And that's uh, something that uh, not all marketing agencies do. So that is uh, what we help is grow their businesses, not just improve their marketing results. Now, Alex, uh, for our audience in the spirit of full disclosure, is one of Centricity's uh, awesome clients. And one of the things that Alex knows that we do in many of our community meetings uh, at Centricity to help all of our clients get to know each other better is something we call a memorable moment. And the way this works is I am going to ask Alex to give me a number between 1 and 411. And that corresponds to the number of questions we have in our memorable moments database. So this will be something that Alex has no idea what's coming and we're going to put him on the spot and he is going to reveal something about himself that even those closest to him probably don't know. Are you ready, Alex? 
Uh, no, I'm not, but well, uh, sure it is. <laughs> Outstanding. That never stops us. So, Alex, give me your number, 1 to 411. Well, we are talking about SEO, so let's use a number that is relevant for SEO, like a 301. Okay, Alex, how is that relevant to SEO? And no, that's not your question. 301 is the redirect when you migrate a website to a different platform. You have to migrate all the URLs to the new scheme of the new CMS that you are using. So you use something called 301 redirects. Okay, the 301 redirect. There we go. That's another tidbit that I learned today. Okay, Alex, here is your question, number 301. What things bring joy to your life? My kids. I, I have no doubt about that. So tell us a little bit about your kids. Well, they are seven and nine. Um, well, they are uh, really cheerful. They are always want to play. They are always having those kind of answers that you don't expect that they make me you laugh. So well, it's, uh, I love to spend time with them. Boys or girls? A girl and a boy. What is the most common emotion? that you feel when you interact with them? What is the thing that they make you do the most? Loud, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that uh, as a parent myself. I don't know. Maybe I cried a little bit too, but I think it's fabulous. And Alex, I Probably hope as I they- cry when they are teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I hope when they're teenagers, you are still able to laugh. So enjoy it. Alex- uh, you have been, as you were previously, a joy to have on the show. I am sure this topic of how do you balance SEO against pay-per-click is something there are a lot of people in our audience that would like to learn more about. So what is the best way for our audience to get in touch with you? Well, they can send me an email, alex at allmarketing.co, or they can visit our website, and they can, uh, well, request a free consultation. And uh, I will, of course, put Alex's contact information in the show notes and in the video cast. Now, Alex, I know this is not your first time. So you darn well know that no one gets on this show and gets out without having a gift for our wonderful audience. So don't act surprised. You knew it was coming. What can you offer our audience this time? I knew that. So uh, this time what we are offering is a free audit of their SEO traffic and put together a, a small plan if they want to start running some uh, advertising, give them some strategy based on the data of the, their website. All of you need to take advantage of Alex's very kind gift. Alex, I want to thank you for educating us and challenging our conventional wisdom that SEO is always the way to go to the exclusion of pay-per-click. I think you have brought a lot of perspective and insight and nuance into the right way to think about it so that we can get the best results to our audience. Let's continue to crush it until next time. <laughs>